Hi everyone, how you doing? I'm Katana the Lightning Cat. Give me just a minute. <clears throat> Go back, go back, go back. It's because they're most likely the ones that will adapt quickest. Because it's there we go. No, don't you meow at me. I did nothing to you. I just leaned over and turned the thingy down. Wow, this was done a year ago. Deja vu. <laughs> right, I'm gonna show you a clip from Philip DeFranco. Why is it relevant? Certain people, YouTube is incredibly easy to manipulate. For example, in the past 24 hours, a story has blown up about okay. YouTube autocomplete. You may have seen the headlines, and if you're right, how to have YouTube autocomplete. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff right there. <laughs> okay. That bit right there. I was thinking, okay, is, is that relative to the entire platform? Is there, or is it just relative to the individual who is searching? So I typed it. <clears throat> and lo and behold... Uh, let's see. Stretch Fortnite on console? That's probably not relative to me, because I don't search for Fortnite. A Lucid Dream? Probably relative to me, because of all of those Binaural Beats videos I've been watching. Your First Kiss? Uh, probably not relative to me. Better Alm in Fortnite? Not relative to me. A Baby in Sims Mobile? Definitely relative. I've been watching Call Me Kevin play Sims. Clear skin, not relative to me. Good handwriting, not relative to me. Twins and Sims 4, yeah, again, Kevin. A British accent, mm, I'm leaning towards 50-50 on that one. And a, a successful YouTube channel, definitely relative to me. So, I'm thinking that shows me a mix of what is relative to searches that I've done and what is relative to what is probably being searched at the most okay that's interesting definitely looks different from a year ago oh wait 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 a successful YouTube channel, British accent, clear skin, good Ryan writing. Oh my God, it's all here! What the fuck? I just noticed that. Meh. Not really much has changed in here, has it? Well, except for the new apocalypse. Looking back on this, I might say, what the fuck did I care? I don't know. I'm crying over at a crossroads. Do I laugh at this shit? Do I say something else about it? Is there some other third option? Probably. Okay, hold on. Okay, Lucid Dream. Yeah, that one... That's one in common. First kiss, yeah, that's in common. Good handwriting. No, that's not in common. Clear skin, yep, that's in there. Yeah, good handwriting, yeah. Okay, dream, first kiss, handwriting, clear skin. British accent, yep, that one's in there. A successful channel on YouTube, yep, that one's in there too. That's five of them! Not much has changed. If people are still searching for the same stuff. But is it relevant? I don't know. Originally, I was thinking that this guy made this video just a few 
days ago, but it was just a year ago. The fuck? Oh yeah, by the way, I was searching the Adpocalypse and seeing how that one jerk went straight to the advertisers instead of reporting the channels to YouTube and letting them handle it. He went straight to the advertisers. Yeah, way to go, douchebag. Congratulations. Seems like every year we'll ju we're dealing with a, a fresh adpocalypse at the beginning of every year. 2017, the the Wall Street Journal went and bit a, com, went to be a complete bitch to pews. Then after that, 2018, it was Logan Paul and his dead bodies. Dude, put it back in your closet. No one cares. Now. It's this one dude bitching about pedophiles. That's everyone's knee-jerk response. What about the children? Oh my god. <laughs> it's just getting worse and worse. Society is breaking down socially. This isn't evolution, this is de-evolution. wonder how much longer until humans start to grow tails. Hmm. Could it be interesting? But then again, they just might turn back into fishes. Or maybe not. Seeing as how all the social slime is coming out just to be a complete bitch to everybody, I'm gonna say... Humanity's completely fucked. Next time, more Subnautica from me! Till then... I, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. <laughs> fuck the Adpocalypse. I've got Patreon and PayPal and GoFungamy. Patreon for continuous monthlies and PayPal for one-time lump sums. There you go. There there will be no need for me to have ads in that regard. Take that, YouTube! I mean, asshole who's making a bitch situation worse? Yeah, I really should have thought that one out. Fuck it, who cares? Till next time, everybody. Bye.